Good morning, day 15, the beginning of our third week. Um, so I weighed in this morning and I am down. Remember last week I had gained 0.2 pounds? Well, I lost those 0.2 pounds. So now I'm back to the original weight loss that I was at, which is great. Um, but, you know, we are supposed to exercise and we haven't been yet. Um, I know that was one of Jill's questions. By the way, guys, this is what I had to do. I had to print out the freaking questions and comments, the long ones, because I'm not going to be able to keep track when I'm looking on my phone later. But that was one of the questions, I think, is about exercise. And yes, we are supposed to do three 10-minute exercises a day, which can be walking, it can be running, it can be, I don't know, but we really need to start doing it. Um, Hubby's still in the shower, so I haven't, uh, I, didn't, I haven't found out what his uh, current weight is. So I'll let you know about his weight later on today. But let me show you our food spread for today. Um, I uh, did this yesterday evening. So we'll just start with breakfast. Breakfast, I'm gonna be doing the cinnamon bun and the blueberry pie yogurt. Um, hopefully that tastes good, I don't know. For my shake today, I'm trying something new. I shook it up already. The blender mixer is in here so I can shake it up later. But I'm wondering if this will help like meld the flavors together and let it you know, settle down without all that froth. So I'll let you know how that goes. If it goes awful, you'll you'll definitely know. <laughs> um, chicken noodle soup for lunch. Oh shoot, I have to pack my veggies. They're gonna be green beans, you already know that. For my snack today, I chose the last hard boiled egg. I have to make some more, plus some hummus and some carrots. Um, I've already uh, picked out my dinner too, apparently. I'm gonna have the broccoli and cheese chicken with the rest of the squash because I really liked that combination. So moving on to hubby's today. Um, his breakfast is the peanut butter granola bar, a banana, and the Boston cream pie yogurt, which he loves. His snack is the shake and an applesauce. The lunch is the chicken fajita melt. I gotta write that down in there. String cheese and peas for the smart carbs. And his snack today are the cheese puffs. I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet. Um, so, did you weigh yourself? Do you want to tell me so I can um, write it down wherever my phone yeah, is? Okay. I was hoping you would tell me now, but that's okay. Um, also, it wouldn't be Monday without my Monday hoodie, right? But I don't have it on right now because I'm a little hot. But here it is, Monday hoodie. Um, oh, and my, we should just start doing this. My beauty product of the day, Jill. My beauty product of every day is, um, is this. It's the L'Oreal True Match Concealer, and I am in the shade light medium, W4-5. That's all I've been wearing for the past few days is just that concealer because my skincare regimen is uh, has been going really well, and my face has been clearing up, but I still need concealer for those red spots and everything, and... Not wearing makeup is helping my face a little bit, but I still do need the concealer. So that is today's beauty product of the day. Um, this is the first time in forever that I've had all 10 fingernails polished because I use that gel polish that I'm testing out this week. So like I said, be on the lookout for that either later this week or early next week. Um, but I'm going to go. We may or may not have time to answer some questions in the car on the way to work, but we'll see. And I will see you guys in a second. Morning, y'all. We're in the car. I hope you. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. That's the sun. Well, you wanted the new light for your studio. Right. Uh, yeah. I'll just do it outside. Um. I hope y'all watched yesterday's video. Just gonna say that. So, today's car reflection section <coughs> early this morning will be Crystal's questions because Jill's relate um, to the food and the nature system more this time. <laughs> Crystals are more personal. So the first question is, when are y'all having kids? As soon as we get a house. As soon as we get a house, that is right. Um, that was TJ's biggest thing, is that he wanted to have a house before he had kids, and uh, 
well, you guys know we're on our way to get in the house, so. Um, what exactly do you guys do for a living? Do you want to start or do you want me to sure. start? Sure. I'm a manager of e-commerce service, MTS, Diffum welcome team, and... Diffum is do it for me. He's, um, we work at a website company, and, um... Oh, and the tier two, or <laughs> tier two support team for network solutions e-commerce platform so he's basically the manager of what four four teams four teams that deal with customer support on like online store websites so when just don't argue with me on the phone i will win <laughs> very true um what i do is well i started at this company three years ago right when I moved down here and I, I started doing quality control on websites so small businesses they ask us to make them a website and I did the QC for it before it went out to the customer for the first viewing um, now what I do is I write AdWords Google AdWords so if you Google something like even if you just Google Nutrisystem on the right hand side or like at the top you'll see ads for Nutrisystem I write those but I'm not for Nutrisystem I write them for the small businesses that ask for our service um, I am Google AdWords certified and I am Bing ads uh, certified or accredited whatever they call it um, so yeah I write all day long I'm creative as I can be with the businesses that are thrown at us but all my background and training is actually in computer technology. Um, and before that, I worked at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing in DC. Yeah. If I had to choose my ideal job, at first it would have been my own bake shop. But now I kind of want to do like social media or marketing for a beauty company. Because I love what I do now, all that writing and stuff. And everybody always says, oh, you can sell anything because I talk it up so much if I love something so much and I just keep on. But all right, that's long enough about our jobs, huh? Do you need help? <laughs> you good? Um, what is TJ's and Kat's favorite bad food? I love me some brownies. Well, so Crystal loves her brownies. I... What do I love? Reese cups in any form. <laughs> okay, he's the Reese's cups. I am. I like too much of everything. Um, and Doritos. I think that. But I don't eat a. See, that's the thing. I don't eat a lot of bad things. Yeah. I just ate too much Oops. at dinner, and I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat lunch, and you know, pretty much just packed it in at dinner. That's you know what the. Remember last Valentine's Day, Mom and Dad sent us those salted caramels? Oh yeah, I killed those things. Those are so good. Those The are dark chocolate and milk chocolate covered um, that's salted caramels. That's actually what pulled out part of my tooth. Yeah, that, that's my, the, yeah. Um, what was your starting weight? Do you want to tell people? I don't Do you care. care. Mine was 325. And mine was 116, however. I was probably heavier than that before I started Nutrisystem, just by a little bit. My maximum weight ever was, I think, 120, 125, and you could really tell. Like, it just wasn't, it didn't look natural. I don't know. It just looked bad, but there you go, 325 and 116. Um, how many polishes do you have? <laughs> Too many. When I made... <laughs> When I made my stash list, I had about 600, but now I think I'm closer to about 1,500, 800, because I haven't gotten many more, maybe closer to 800, not quite a thousand yet. I have to update my stash list, so that's not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, does TJ complain about polished smells like my hubby does? No, he no. loves it. My dad was a painter, so I grew up with all those smells, and I, I love it. Yeah. I used to spend my time in spray booths with my dad painting cabinets <laughs> with 
no respirator masks because it was the 80s and <laughs> early 90s. No one cared about carcinogens and crap like that. So all you hubbies who complain about that polish smell, man up because it's not that bad. It, Get over it's, it. It's really kind of nice. I also Get like the smell it. of gas. Yeah, but we're afflicted people. We like smells like that. So, all right, two more questions. One for you, one for me. Um, what is TJ's favorite game, like, for gaming? Because her hubby loves Killzone. Um, I can pretty much play anything, any genre. If I were to go back and really think about what my favorite video game is, I would have to go back to Star Wars Galaxies. That was good. Before the NGE update to it. That was good, but RF Online was pretty good too. RF Online was good because of the people at the time. True. But the game itself was just a... Well, and then it went free to play and everybody was everywhere and it just wasn't... It wasn't fun for me anymore. Wow. It was too much like work. Okay. And the last question for me is, what is Kat's nationality exactly and do you speak that language? I am 100% Chinese. My mom's side of the family is Cantonese and my dad's side of the family is Mandarin. So of course they speak two different languages, but they basically, my mom was born here, my dad came here when he was really little, and so they speak uh, perfect English and we grew up speaking English. When I was little, I went to a Chinese babysitter and I spoke Chinese then, and then I stopped, so of course I stopped speaking. And then I took four years of Chinese in high school and I still can't really speak a lick of Chinese, sorry. Um, and in all honesty, I would have to think that her parents have the perfect marriage because they can yell at each other in different languages and not know what the hell one another I, is saying. Right, but I so don't think I, they ever, it, I don't think they ever did that. I'm pretty if sure they, they did. If they didn't, and they don't, they should start because it will probably <laughs> save a lot of pain and suffering. Um, <laughs> I would just think that that was like the best way to argue ever. So I should start learning stuff so I can just argue with you in another language, in my language. Um, so yeah. Well, that's not fair because I don't know another language that I can argue with you well, in. You best start learning. No. Well, I'm your mom wants our kids to learn Chinese, so... Well, then my mom can learn Chinese and teach them, because I'm sure as hell not. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to. I I'm the one that's going to learn. Um, so anyway, those are all of Crystal's questions. Um, <clears throat> like I said, Jill's questions were more food-related and Nutrisystem related, so I will go over those in tonight's reflection section. And I think I'll keep the reflection section in my room because that seemed to that seemed to work yesterday and if hubby wants to participate in it he can just sit at my polished desk and paint his nails again so that is all we are almost to work and I will leave you to it cool we're finding out about that house that we really 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 want and Jill just to touch on this um, I know you said you know kitchen and bathroom have really big resale value and everything this kitchen is amazing it's got granite countertops a full island that you can eat on it's freaking huge it was basically a, like a, ta a breakfast bar extended out into like a like a total dinette yeah but it's all granite it's all granite and it's this fantastic. one she can't ruin with nail polish remover all right i never ruined countertops with nail polish yeah, remover ruin your dinette. That's what but I was our dinette set. Anyway, we won't go into that. We're almost to work and I will see you guys later. Bye! I messed it up. I cooked it too long in the microwave. So I really totally ruined my cinnamon bun. I nuked it too long. And there's Corey. <laughs> um, he's probably here for, um, are you here to ask me a question or coffee? Or neither, you just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to say. Okay, well I'm gonna take a bite of this blueberry, blueberry pie yogurt. I hope there's, it tastes like crust or something.
blueberry pie. Yogurt. Oh my god. It tastes really good. Are you kidding me? Tastes this really tastes good. like it tastes like the um the blueberry filling mm -hmm. in a blueberry pie. Nice. Oh my Sounds god. Like Usually pretty good. No. Oh. No aspartame. I hate that. Um, Corey, it's focusing on your face. Cause I'm handsome. Duh. No. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> it says no aspartame. So I'm gonna eat this and I have my coffee ready to go. So, yeah. I see you guys at shake time and let you know how that goes. Bye. Shake time. It's good. I think it's better when you let it sit and like come together. It's good. It's good. All right, really quickly, this is the chicken noodle soup. I have green beans in it, so yeah, I'm eating soup with a fork. Ha. Huh. There's not a lot of soup soup though, but um, I gotta take my obligatory bite shot. Bite shot. Tastes like Campbell's. But I mean, it's chicken noodle soup, so. Really? I mean, I mean. It looks like Campbell's. Yeah, it's like Campbell's ask. <laughs> Whatever. It's lunch. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You guys don't watch this for the food anymore. I know you don't. You watch it for the the drama and the TJ and the reflection section. Um, yeah, goodbye. I used to have a wireless mouse. Cat wants a wireless water bottle. I'm recording and I'm talking about a wireless mouse. This is my snack, by the way, carrots and hummus. Boom. She also wants a wireless mouse. Hummus. Oh my gosh, all this background noise. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Hey guys, I'm home. I feel like crap. I've been sneezing all day. I don't know why. I'm trying not to get hubby in the shot, but yeah, I look really tired and worn out. Um. Hubs, do you know what you want for dinner? No. I what? do not. I literally just walked in the door. So did I. I walked in after you, actually. Can't open this bag without. Well, whatever. I'm What's doing. This page three or four? I don't know. I'm having the broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast with the rest of the zucchini and. I'll just let you know what hubby's having when we do our dinner shot because I don't know. I don't know. I'll see you in a second. Hi. So hubby picked up the chicken pasta parmesan. I had that uh, last week sometime. But uh, while I'm waiting for my chicken to cook, because this only takes like a minute, I'm not going to make it now. Um, during lunchtime today, I went to Dollar Tree and look what I found. We have a crap ton of these regular glasses because I guess a couple years ago McDonald's had them and if you got a large meal or something, this was free or it was a dollar or whatever. But I found these at Dollar Tree and I love them because of like the handle. You know, you get easier to, I don't know. I like handles. Um, but, little tidbit. Do any of you guys watch um, X Factor? Do you remember that girl, Ryan? She was 16 years old. She was from Jacksonville. And when we were coming out of Dollar Tree, we saw her going into the store next door. And um, my friends, um, Nicole and Daisy, they didn't know who I was talking about. I don't think they watch it. But I got a little fangirlish just because I was like, that's somebody that was on TV that I'm seeing in person that I don't know and I didn't have time to go up to her or anything but um, yeah I saw her and that was kind of cool so um, let me 
I don't know, I really don't want this uh, vlog to be too long because it's during the week and I don't have time to stay up that late. Um, but I answered Crystal's questions from this morning and um, Jill's questions are all uh, Nutrisystem related like I said before, so I'll just do those during the regular reflection section. But um, I saw that Danny posted in the comments that she understands my random aggravation. And I think I was just a little stressed yesterday because of the houses, um, even though there's really nothing to be stressed about. Um, things are moving along and, you know, I'm just going to keep it at that for now because I, I don't want to jinx anything. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just get random fits of rage every once in a while. Um, that doesn't, I don't know. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cook our dinner and then um, I'll come back after that and, and, and do our reflection section in my room again. So I'll see you in a minute. Can you see me? I don't know, I feel like crap today or I feel like I look like crap, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I guess I should have, Matter. I can show you now. The chicken, it looks and feels a little bit drier than yesterday, but um, that's what it looks like cut open, with the broccoli inside. And I have my squash, so I'm just gonna take my bite. That's mine. <laughs> oh, chicken, pasta, parmesan, yeah, his whatever. Corn is his smart carb, and the parmesan cheese on top is his power fuel. I'd rather have a yogurt. <laughs> this chicken is good, but I don't taste the cheese part of the broccoli and cheese. Um, but it's good. I freaking love it. I'll eat it. And my um, my leftover squash. Ooh, hot. Ow. What? Interesting thing my dentist told me today. What? Um, you as you guys know, up. as you guys know, I've been going to the dentist back and forth for like a week or so now. It's not that there's anything wrong. He's just double checking on some things. And there was some of the, um, the glue that they put the inlay on with that was stuck in between the teeth, causing some aggravation, which resulted in some uh, inflammation. There's the cheese. Um, but anyways, the... He is, he's been around as a dentist for quite a while, and he says I have what's called congenial, is, is it congenial? Congenial? Congenial um, indifference to pain. And he says that he's never had a patient like me, and what that basically means is I feel pain, I know pain is there, but I don't care. Basically like it he's doesn't like, pain, hurt me. meh. But he says that that's a good thing, comparatively speaking to what's called a congenial um, inability or something like that, whatever he said, which is the one where people don't feel it and don't know it's happening. And of course they don't know if they've cut themselves, put their hand on a hot stove until well after it's too late. So it's kind of interesting to find out that after all these years, there's actually a terminology for it of to why I don't feel pain that much. I mean, so like when I get sick, and I tell Kat something's hurting me or something like that, she knows it's serious because it's got to be a lot to hurt me. Yep. So I just thought I'd share that little thing today. Little tidbit. Are you going to participate in tonight's reflection section or is that going to, am I going to be a loner tonight? Um, I'll participate for a little bit. Okay. Well, it's 7.45, so I'll probably do it at 8 o'clock after we're done eating. You would cut into my gaming time, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. All right. We gotta go for now, but we will come back um, and we'll have our. Chef boy or eat. That's what I said about some of the other things. Really? Yeah. Um, but I'll come back with our dessert at reflection section time. So we'll see you in a second. Bye. Bye. All right, kids, it's ready for reflection section time. Um, before I get into the rest of the comments, which I'll probably read from my computer or I'll just pull it up on my phone. Um, my camera has 14 minutes left on the battery, so we're going to have to make this quick. Um, thankfully, I got through some of the stuff this morning. 
Um, okay. So, we're both down in our weight today. Oh, before I forget, fudge brownie for dessert. I heated it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And <coughs> hubby's right, it kind of does taste uh, diety. Um, it's not... It's not a brownie. Did you wash it wrong? No. I just primed it with too much juice. Okay. Um, it's more like a dense chocolate cake or like a chocolate tort, something like that. But chocolate, that's all I care about. I want more ice cream, but I only have so many. And I can't eat hubbies, so, you know, the last I'll night. actually trade you ice cream for those kinds of snacks. Oh, really? Yeah, the way my teeth are sensitive right now, I'll trade you. Score! Okay. Just look, look at me all laying back in this chair. It's so comfortable. Um, Jill's daily questions. Can you have grated cheese or butter at all? I love all the squashes that you had, and I have a great recipe if you can have grated cheese. Yes, we can, but it's about a quarter cup, um, and it counts as our power fuel. And so I can only have power fuels <coughs> two, two in the morning, and one is the afternoon snack. Hubby can have a power fuel with his dinner. However, he doesn't eat squash, but he eats cheese. Uh, um, I don't eat squash. <laughs> what would you do slash eat if you were out to dinner or at an event when food was served? Um, some place where you can't cook your own food. What does Nature System recommend? I ask this for those on this journey with you. Well, in my <coughs> day four day four vlog, I think it was, I had to go to an Indian buffet for my friend's birthday. And you didn't have to. No, I kind of had to. Yeah, I had to. Um, but Nutrisystem gives you a dining out guide and it tells you, or they tell you, what's good, what's bad, what's what you can have, what you can't have. And you really have to exercise self-control when you go. When I went, I had like a half a cup of rice, yeah, yeah, like a half a cup of the chicken tikka masala, and I had a whole bunch of salad with no dressing, and I had water. Um, I missed my mango lassi, I missed my mango ice cream, I missed all the other creamy goodness and the beans and oh my gosh, everything. You just have to um, play it safe. You know, think about what you've eaten with the Nutrisystem foods. Think about those portions and then eat your veggies and drink water. Um, that's basically it. You really have to be conscious of what you're putting on your plate, how much you're putting on your plate, and only eating one plate of food. <laughs> I mean, when did you make that? it's pretty... When did I make what? A while ago. Hmm. It works. He's commenting on my new new light box that I made from foam board. All right, other veggies, how about broccoli, lima beans, cabbage, mushrooms, celery, asparagus, cauliflower. Broccoli, yes. Lima beans, no. Those are a smart card. Cabbage, yes. Mushrooms, yes. Celery, yes. Asparagus, yes. Cauliflower, yes. I just have to bite and cook it. <clears throat> it's amazing. All of the vegetables <laughs> I like don't count as vegetables. Because they're starchy. You like your carbs. I don't understand how lima bean is carb. Do you not... Feel how it feels in your mouth. It's starchy. Anyway, fruits, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, apples, oranges, clementines, pears, plums, peaches, grapefruit, <coughs> even some of these on salads. Fruits count as a smart carb. And unfortunately, I only get one of those a day. Um, but hubby is content with eating bananas for a smart carb, so that's fine. Oh, by the way, um, since mine wasn't ripe enough, <coughs> I just left it sit on my desk, so I'll have it tomorrow, so don't give me one on my... Shoot, I already ripped one off. That's all right. Well, why would you rip them off? Well, I don't know. I rip things off all the time. Cool Whip. I used to keep it... Or I used to keep it frozen and scoop it with an ice cream scooper, and it was like eating some yummy ice cream or froyo. Um, cool Whip. Yeah, Cool Whip. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows that reference? Hmm. I will be so impressed if you do. I would be so impressed if you do. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would. I don't know what my viewers... Anyway, before we give it away, don't give it away. Cool Whip, um, 
I'm not gonna buy any unnecessary dessert things. Um, like I said in yesterday's, I bought some sugar-free Jello. So if I get that hankering, by the way, I forgot to put it in my lunch today, and I didn't even need it. If I get the hankering for it, then um, sure, I will. I don't know. I'm not gonna. It's not necessary. <coughs> Bless you. My turn. Okay. I could, but I'm not going to. And I've got oh, good nine minutes. Okay. Um. <coughs> Oh, duh. I also put it on mixed, put it on or mixed with sugar-free jello and jello-free, jello-free pudding. Sugar-free pudding. What's well, kind of the same thing, jello-free pudding? It was kind of like in the um, <laughs> credit card statement we got. Annual percentage rate is your annual percentage rate for the year. Yeah. Um, what happens after the three months on Nature System? How will you maintain your eating habits? Will you start making a three or four week cycle menu? Does Nutri Oh, okay. Um, after this, we don't I know. I can tell you, day one after this, <laughs> McDonald's double cheeseburger. No, you cannot. Just one. Nope. <laughs> you can't have just one. Fine, I'll eat two. Buddy, be careful, baby. Buddy's in here now. Um. Did you finish eating once you realized we're not going to give you any food? Um, I don't know what we're going to do. I, I don't know if I will continue it, but we'll yeah. look for... We'll okay. look for foods that yeah. are comparable, you know, and stick with the Buddy. veggies and the fruits and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. Nutra System absolutely recommends exercise. Come on, lay down. Did I answer these questions already? Did you ask these questions already? I don't know. I feel like I have. Um, Nutra System recommends exercise, or maybe I answered it this morning. Oh my gosh, all this house stuff has my mind all over That's the place. That's why you need to just do one session of quiet q and I know. I thought I would hit it while I got it. Um, yes. Three ten minute increments of exercise a day. What are the no-no foods? <coughs> Fast food. Too many fruits, too many starches, too many carbs. That's my no-no. Um, we won't even go with the no-no foods because if you stick with the program, Get with the program. Oh, speaking of no-no foods, um, when I was coming back from the dentist today, I passed by a McDonald's. It's like literally right there. I was going to go in there and just have them give me a wrapper, and I was going to leave it on the floorboard of the passenger side. So that way, when I picked her up from work, to see what she would say about it. I would have freaked out. I would have been like, are you freaking kidding me? No, you'd have been like, <coughs> what's this? What did you eat? When did you get this? Yeah, that's what I would sound like and say. Give me all your cash, because I don't trust you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she says, high five you guys, high five guys for doing awesome, keep up the good work, thanks for the face flash, TJ. Crossing fingers, toes, and eyes for you on your house hunt, slash making an offer, get a pool, I'm really a mermaid, ruffle. I don't know why it's not working right. Well, you'll get over it. Buddy's peeking his head through my armchair, armchair, arm on the chair, on the chair, arm. Um, all right. I don't think there were too many other, like, watch out puppy. I don't think there were too many other questions in this one. Um, I answered some on YouTube. I answered some on Facebook. I answered yeah. some this morning. Ugh! Again, don't you love those facial expressions? I don't know what they look like, but I will see in a second. Um, oh, That's So Fresh says, You guys are two days ahead of me on NS, and I look forward to your videos every night, cat. I'm also a nail girl, and I found that I have way more energy to get stuff done now uh, on the NS plan. Even though TJ's face is not in the videos, I'm glad we can still hear him and his input because it's nice to have the men's NS plan review for other men, maybe on the fence about joining like my hubs. Keep up the good work. Did you watch the end of the video? You should go watch the end of the video yesterday. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Um, <laughs> la, la, la. um, Deanna says, and I have five minutes left, watching your vlog makes me wish I would have gotten to know you better when we work together. My hubby has family down in Florida and I like it down there. As you, oh, as you, wait a minute. Are you still doing your baking now that you are doing Nutrisystem? I remember your cupcakes were delicious. Nope, no baking yet. Not unless somebody asks for it. But, uh, just should not keep the temptation there because fresh baked goodies are freaking delicious 
and um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Anyway, I think it's time to go because Hubby's getting frustrated no, with this. No, I'm not getting frustrated. <laughs> if, there's, if there's more questions, let's do it. And I don't think there are any more questions. Not today. More people. Jess, where are your questions? Danny, where are your questions? Jill's doing all the work here, guys. And Crystal jumped in too. Y'all need to think of something. I don't know. Anything. Like I said, we will pretty much answer most anything. Um, but yeah. Uh, la, 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 la. I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. That is it for today's reflection section. Um, I have been slacking on the water thing. I'm sorry. I just, I'm, this whole house thing has got me kind of distracted and I haven't been, I have been drinking water. I just haven't been drinking as you much. Know, it's called, it's called displacing the blame. Okay, well, I will start doing better then, okay? Okay? I don't care. Um, oh, also, who uses this or who knows about this? I got two samples in my Sephora order a while back and I used it last night and I don't like the smell and hubby loves the smell. I don't get it. So I'm like, I was gonna give my other sample to somebody, but he's like, no, keep it, I like it. So I guess I'll suffer through it just for him, right? Right, sacrifice, marriage, sacrifice. Do you have anything else? Are you good? Marriage, sacrifice. I love you. Do you love me too? A little bit. A little bit? Just a little bit. All right, guys, I'll let you go. I'm going to edit this and upload it, and hopefully it will be up before midnight. Ah, let me know if it is. Talk to you all later. Peace. Bye.